This video tutorial shows how to convert television recordings made with Myth TV into smaller MP4 videos using the Linux command line in Ubuntu. Myth TV is a program that works like a TiVo or DVR. It saves and replays streams that you capture with a TV tuner card. There's distributions like Mythbuntu that make it easy to manage. You can even access your library through other video clients like XBMC. But Myth TV falls short when you want to retain shows on your hard drive or archive them. You only have two choices. The MPEG2 format, which is the original recording, eats up disk space quickly, 6 to 10 gigabytes per hour. If you let Myth TV transcode videos, it uses an older compression format called Nuffle Video or NUV, with much worse quality than newer MPEG codecs like H.264. You can do better video conversions by installing an external transcoder like Handbrake. It's available for Mac OS X and Windows as well as Linux. In Ubuntu, get the latest releases by adding Handbrake's PPA repository. Update your sources list. Then install the Handbrake GTK package which provides an easy to use graphical interface plus the handbrake-cli command line package. You'll want handbrake to operate on the original high quality MPEG2 files, not the lossy ones, so make sure that auto transcode for those shows is turned off. Load handbrake and use the GUI interface to do some test transcoding. I like the universal preset. It's lower resolution than HD but gives me much more compact files. Once you've settled on a video resolution, and an audio bitrate and codec, you're ready to try encoding from the command line. Handbrake doesn't remove commercials, so the first step is to flag them using a MythTV tool called MythCom flag. This command will build what MythTV calls a cut list. The first number is the channel ID, and the second is the starting date and time of the episode. Both numbers are in the file names that MythTV creates. You can compare them with MythTV's MySQL database in the recorded table. Secondly, we run the mythtranscode command to make a lossless MPEG2 copy that strips out the commercial segments we flagged. This command takes a minute or two for every hour in the recording. And you won't see much feedback from it unless there are errors in the video stream, which you can usually ignore. Third, run the handbrake command line program. The I parameter is the input file name of the MPEG2 file that we just finished creating. The O parameter is the name of the MP4 file that Handbrake will produce. The other parameters tell Handbrake to use only the first audio track, the AAC codec, and the universal preset. The Handbrake results are very good compared with MythTV's encoder. You can now fit several hours of a TV drama or a long sporting event on a single DVD. These steps can be put into a shell script and automatically run by MythTV when it finishes flagging commercials on a new recording. For a code example, please see my blog at tech.surveypoint.com.